Hello children, today we shall learn about how wool is made. In our previous video, we have learned how plants supply us fiber for cloth. But we can't forget contribution of animals, as the animals also supply us fibers. If you have read the rhymes, Baba black sheep, have you any wool? I wouldn't need to tell where we get wool from. Yes, from sheep. We get wool for our sweaters which keep us warm in freezing winter from the animals like sheep. We all wear woolen sweater in winter which makes us warm and cozy. Right children? Wool is thicker than cotton and silk fibers. The garments made of wool are quite stretchable. When we wear sweater, it stops our body heat from taken away by air and our body stays warm because air gets trapped in gaps between the yarns in woolen garments and air is a poor conductor of heat. So we feel warm. Now let us know how hair from coat of animal turns into fabric for us. The wool from sheep is the most common. So let us see how we get wool from a sheep. Sheep has thick coat of hair or fleece. After winter, layer of fleece is removed from sheep using a shaving machine. Just like barbers shave off the hair, this fleece grows back on sheep just like our hair. All the fleece don't have same quality. Feel the hair on your body and arms and those on your head. There is some difference, isn't it? Same way, fleece contains fiber of different lengths. Few fibers are coarse and useless. Generally, fleece from shoulder and side of sheep is the best in quality. Then sorting of woolen fiber separates high quality fibers for us and the useless, coarse, weak and or defective fleece is separated. The fleece contains dirt, germs, oily substances, dried sweat of sheep etc. Hence. The fleece is cleaned thoroughly using hot water, soap, lots of detergent etc. to remove all of these kind of dirt. The cleaned fleece is then dried. The natural fleece of sheep is white, black or brown. So wool fibers are dyed in various other colors. Then curly fleece is straightened, combed. This step is just like combing the fleece to detangle wool fibers. In old days, hand brush with small metal wire like teeth was used for this process. But now machines are used for this purpose. Finally, woolen fiber strings are twisted and spun together to get stronger woolen yarn using spinning process. In old days, spinning wheel or hand spindle was used for it. Now, electricity driven spinning machines are used for spinning. Now you know how fleece turns into woolen yarn for cloth. It is a long journey. Let's reiterate. First, sheep is shaved using shaving machine to get fleece. This step is called shearing. Then, Fleece of different qualities are sorted and useless defected coarse fleece is separated out. Then fleece is cleaned thoroughly using hot water detergent etc. The cleaning of fleece is called scouring. Nowadays scouring is done by machines. Then woolen fibers are dyed in various other colors. Then clean fleece is detangled and fibers are drawn into straight continuous form of thread. This step is called carding. 
we get thin weak strings of wool from fleece through carding process these thin strings are spun together to make woolen yarn now we have yarn which method is followed to make woolen clothes you know a closed looped pattern is formed for making a sweater or other woolen clothes this kind of arrangement is done in order to keep the yarn firmly together in forming the clothes another thing to know only a long single yarn is used to make various woolen items a single yarn turns into a big sweater isn't it amazing children this method is called knitting knitting can be done both by hands using big knitting needles as well as by machines not only sheep wool is also obtained from thick coat of hair on body of few other mammals angora goat is reared in hilly area of kashmir for wool wool is obtained from yak in tibet and ladakh llama and alpaca are reared in south america for wool so whenever you go out in market to buy a nice sweater for you you can tell how it was made and you should always thank those animals that is all for today bye bye children